friends, welcome back to my channel. I have gathered another little bucket of wax melts that I have used up. Similar to my previous all wax trash talk, I'm still very much living in the land of wintry fall 2018 wax melts. I have noticed that what a lot of what I have left is bakery base and I'm not too sick of it. And I really want to deplete that before I move on to spring stock because I feel like in the year of 2021, wax melts, no matter what brand they come from, from 2018, are just not going to survive waiting another six to seven months to come seasonally back around. So that's a lot of what you're gonna see I have in here. I have broken this into different um, like types or platforms of wax melts. We'll leave timestamps down below in the comments, but I'm gonna start with the three clamshells that I have finished off. So the first one that I have is from Sensationals. I definitely will say in the last six or so months, I've really neglected clamshells in general, but also particularly ones that I have from Walmart. And this one, like the actual label is starting to fade away. I have no idea how old these are. I definitely think going forward, I wanna start writing for all of my wax. I wanna start writing when I get it because most companies don't put a pour date on there. And so unless I can remember like the collection I purchased or like when I last made that purchase, which I do have an odd memory for those kinds of details. It's not gonna be foolproof forever. So the first one that I have is Black Raspberry Vanilla. This, oh, it's a really good scent. It definitely is more of a springy scent. So I don't know why I had it sitting in my like winter collection. I'm very happy that I pulled this out and used it. I went with two cubes at a time. That is how I like to use Sensational Wax. And I felt like this, had a really long, like three or four days, even maybe five days, scent longevity, which was awesome. So I definitely recommend this. It's something that I felt like was a very yummy, almost like ice cream type of raspberry notes to it that I was a big fan of. So if you're somebody who likes sweet fruity scents, definitely pick this one up if you can find it at your Walmart. Second two clamshells that I have both come from Super Tart. So I have the You Stole My Cab, which is, I believe, from Gilmore Girls, I might be wrong, but it is the Spiked Eggnog Apple Cider Fragrance. So these are the new labels that Super Tarts are doing. They've gotten away from their very thematic types of labels. I think it was for copyright reasons, but I don't know for certain because that was something that I didn't really pay close attention to. I have no real issues with what the labels look like. It doesn't really sell wax for me, but I was disappointed in this I really wanted, like what I've been really craving is an eggnog scent from um, Bath and Body Works. I think it was Dear Santa Bring the Eggnog or something like that. It was some stupid label that they came out with one year and I do have a butter rum eggnog, but it's not the same thing. It's not as eggy as the original one was. And same thing with this, maybe because it has apple cider, but this really wasn't an eggnog scent. It was basically just a sweeter cider scent and I wasn't super into it. I didn't feel like the performance of this one was as exceptional as I love Super Tart's wax to be. So this is not one that I repurchase. Second one that I've got from them is Tie Me Up. So you can see here, this is from like the 50 Shades of Grey line and they had, you know, very clear labeling that would tie into that franchise or where that movie inspiration came from. This one is vanilla bean, champagne, and strawberries. I got this from a D stash. This is not my favorite. The thing I've noticed with anything that has like champagne or that like effervescence in it, it to me just smells lime. It pulls into a lime direction. I don't know why. And I just didn't feel like I love the scent of this on warm. It did last a really long time, better than the previous one that I had, You Stole My Cab. This was more true of the Super Tarts wax I know and love, but wasn't a scent I was really into. I have been focusing a lot on using up baggies of wax, but I wanted to, inspired by the clam, start to try to use up scent shots because some of them are just plop one in one time, other ones it's just cut in half so I can go through them a little bit quicker. So I have a really old one. This is from Dessa's Homespun Scents. It's fresh bread and jam. This is when she was still putting like sprinkles on her wax. I never was into that, so I was very happy when she twitched over from that, but that was like years ago. I got this in a tea stash. This was fine. I, it basically, it's an interesting scent. It essentially is a bakery scent, but it is not a sweet bakery scent. Like it gives you 
a very middle of the road, like it's not fully what warm bread smells like because I have baked bread before and it doesn't smell exactly like that. It was fine, but nothing I would want to purchase again. Nothing that really spoke to my sensory love. I have two from Fat Wax that I'm going to talk about at the same time. So in the height of 2018, when I was really loving vendor wax and I was just joining wax Facebook groups, I basically was buying from a bunch of different companies to get a feel for who were my favorites. And one of them was Fat Wax and they were doing a Fruit Loops sampler. So this is Fruit Loops Orange Chiffon Cake and this is Fruit Loops Banana Monkey Farts. On cold... Obviously the first thing I get is Fruit Loops, but individually I could get other notes. However, when it's warmed up, all I get is Fruit Loops. So I couldn't tell you if these were actually different from each other. They didn't smell different warmed up. And now I'm kind of stuck with a bunch of Fruit Loops scented wax. I think I have four or five of these left from the sampler. I would these do just one entire piece of wax. I put it into my wax melter and it like had decent throw. It has really longevity. Like I think each of these lasted three days and I leave my wax melter on most of the day when I'm home. So it has many, many hours, but you gotta really want Fruit Loops. And so I don't know how I'm going to work through the rest of these. I think I'm going to try to space them out a little bit more to make it better, but I don't know. It's just a little bit rough. I wish that the scent notes outside of the Fruit Loops kind of came through a bit more because I like Fruit Loops scent, but not this much. Two from the Glitterati Candle Company. Um, both came in a mystery box in July, 2018. I have Ice Capades. This scent, ah. Uh, it's a classic minty type of scent that I really enjoy. And then the other one that I have is banana nut bread. I love, mm, I love banana nut bread. And the banana is really the most dominant on cold. My problem that I have with both of these, I cut these in half and put them in, um, in one half at a time. My problem with both of them is I just don't feel like it has longevity. The wax melts really quickly, which I do find satisfying because that means I get scent pretty shortly after I put it on my wax melter, which I do love. It's the same thing about Bath & Body Works candles. I do love that they pool out quickly and give a scent within like five or seven minutes of being lit, which is great. You don't have to wait a really long time, but I just feel like the scent dies really fast. I don't know if it's because it's 2018 and maybe with age, this wax doesn't get better. It just kind of is only really good when you first have it, but I wasn't wowed with performance as much as I was with how they smelled on cold. Final one that I have in the scent shot category is from Up North Creations. I have probably mentioned a few times, I'm not a big fan of them. I just don't feel like their scent performance is up to par with what I want from wax. And so most of their wax as I pulled out of my collection, I have just chosen to declutter it. However, I made an exception for grape soda. And let me tell you, this little scent shot was arguably the strongest and longest performing Up North Creations wax I've ever had. I have no idea what makes this different. This, it very much smells like grape candy. If you've ever had any kind of like grape runts, I believe they have, that's exactly what this smells like. Not my favorite scent, but I at least enjoyed the performance of it. And if I come across any more of these little scent shots that I like the smell of on cold, I'll probably give a chance to. But at this point, I really feel like I've gotten rid of most of my Up North creations, either by melting or decluttering, and I'm not clamoring for more. The last category are baggies. I, I don't think I have any duplicates of brands, which is really interesting. First one that I have is Dessa's Homespun Scents. It's Country Kettle Corn. This, I am fairly certain, came as a sample. I don't think it was in my Disney sampler because it doesn't have a Disney themed name, but this is exactly what it sounds like. It smells exactly like when you go to any kind of like local fair or farmer's market where they have kettle corn selling. It smells exactly like that. I definitely would want more of this. I do feel like the... Um, Wax scent died relatively fast compared to other Dessa's homespun scents that I've had, but really a nice contender. Definitely, if I was placing an order, I would add this to it. I have one from Super Tarts. It's the Cranberry Buttercream 7 Up Sweet Cake. This came in the 2018 advent calendar. Similar thing I noted previously with Time Me Up. All I got from this was a lime scent. I didn't think it was that great and I didn't feel like it lasted that long, which was fine because I wasn't really into the scent, but I'm just not sure I'm really into that like bubbly type of note inside wax. 
One from She Loves Cake, it's from my Harry Potter box. This is Rubius Hagrid, homemade bear claws and fresh blueberry cobbler. This was so good. Oh man, it basically came across as like a blueberry muffin scent. I really, really enjoyed this. I have been trying to focus on using this wax up for a while. However, the amount of wax in these baggies lasts a really long time. Like it basically could be a week and a half over the course of the entire bag for me to use up one of these. So it does take me a while and I've been more looking for short term turnaround when it comes to using up wax. But man, I really wish I had gotten on to the She Loves Cake bandwagon much earlier in her life before she closed because this is definitely Definitely a scent I would have wanted more of. I have a Rose Girls one. This came in a de-stash. This is the Cherry Vanilla Waffle Cone. I was really into the idea of this because it has waffle cone and Berry Waffle Cone from Bath and Body Works is one of my favorite scents that they come out with in the summer. But ever since the first iteration of it in the purple glass, it has terrible scent performance. I have tried multiple times to buy it, give it the benefit of the doubt, and I just can't stand it. And I have toyed with buying it and cutting it up, but I was really still in a mindset of being against that. Of course, now that I own a house and don't want city walls, I probably will change my ways and maybe buy it. But this, sadly, didn't ring true to that. I know it has cherry and not berry, but it just didn't even have like strong vanilla ice cream cone scent in it. Wasn't a big fan of it. I definitely wouldn't buy this overall. Rainbow Melts. This is the holiday baking. It's molasses cookies, pie crust, and apple pie. Ooh, this scent. So good. This is basically um, warm apple pie from Bath & Body Works. I really enjoyed it. It was good scent performance. It lasted me quite a long time, which is really great. Rainbow Melts definitely has some of the best performing vendor wax. Highly recommend that you join their Facebook group if you're interested in purchasing from her because she's got all kinds of samplers and different scents that she offers. And I've really never had poor performing wax from her. I have another one from Glitterati. This came in my July 2020 box. This is Cider Lane Be Thankful and Twinkies. This one, Oh man, this is basically Cider Lane from Bath & Body Works and I really liked it, but same problem that I experienced with the little shots, I felt like this just didn't last me super long. Like I think I went through this entire bag in a matter of like three days. I just kept like putting some wax in, hoping to get more scent. I'd get more scent, but then a few hours later it would just fade away. So I would do a hot dump and then I would put some more in. I just I really would wish that I could get longer scent performance, especially for how difficult it is to acquire this wax. I just want a little bit better for longevity, but I do like the Cider Lane scent. And my final bag of wax is not from 2018 or one that I've been trying to work on. It is from my like new favorite vendor, Broadway Wax, which PS, the month of May, they are doing a Peter Pan collection. Unpopular opinion, I'm really not a Peter Pan fan and looking at the scent notes, it didn't really strike me as scent notes that I was really into, but their wax is stellar. I have a whole like unboxing conversation about their subscription service that they offer. I am really tempted by like looking into future months for them. So this came from the Greatest Showman box, which was the February one, and it's called The Other Side. It was my personal favorite from the box. It had hot buttered rum, caramelized pralines, Kentucky bourbon, and smoked vanilla. Oh my God, this, oh, it is sickly, sickly, sickly sweet. I love it. I was putting this down in our living room, which is a pretty large space. So it takes a lot for a scent to really be prominent and to cut through how much real estate is down there. This did that beautifully. There were actually certain points where I thought like, maybe I should turn it off because I'm kind of getting a headache. It's so intense. It was lovely. The wax lasted a really long time. I think it was close to two weeks it took me using this from start to finish. I'm somebody who lets a scent die before I replenish, so it can really drag a scent out if it has strong performance, which I do not have a problem with. So I love this stuff. I'm sad I don't have more of it, but I have a lot of other yummy scents from The Greatest Showman and the Rain theme musical box that I purchased. So definitely am happy to have discovered this new to me brand. All right guys, that is it for me in this roundup of wax. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on all of this and I really appreciate you being here. I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.